Hey guys, all right, so today uh, we're gonna be heat treating a couple blades out here in my uh, old hand crank forge. Um, I'm kind of itching to just burn something in here. I got a big piece of uh, cable. I'm eventually gonna attempt to make uh, wire Damascus with. Uh, I also have a piece of rear track I got cut off for an anvil, you know, video content. Anyways, so I just wanna get a little practice getting this forge up and running and going. So I've used it a couple times before. So I'm gonna heat treat these two blades today and we'll go from there. All right, well, I've only heat treated in this a couple times, so I'm relatively new to this, but I'm not new to heat treating. So there's a few things you're gonna need. Number one, you need to fire. Number two, you need a magnet to make sure you're at the right temperature. Number three, you need some scrap pieces of steel you can heat up and quench to bring your oil up temperature. You need quenching oil, which for me is a mix between hydraulic fluid and motor oil. It seems to work just fine. So. Um, all that and we'll get the fire going, the heat treat started.
All right, guys, so I got the knife pulled out of the quenching oil. Um, it's still pretty warm. That's where you can see it. And you can see right here my edge quench line. And from here down is really, really hard. And from here up, a little bit more spring steel to it. And my test to make sure I got it hard enough to temper. I got this little uh, nickel sound, it's got a number on it, it's a little bastard file. And I take it to the edge of the blade here, and it barely even scratches the surface. Now, if you come back here and do it to the back of the handle, see how it bites? It's got that whole different sound to it right here. Just skimming off the top back here actually bites in so I know that I got this hard enough that I can now take it in and temper it back and I like to do my tempering this is still pretty hot to touch but I'm gonna get it right into the tempering oven and get this thing tempering back up to about 425 400 and 450 degrees it depends on on what this steel reacts I'll start at about 425 for I'll start at 425 for about an hour I'll take it out, let it cool room temperature, temper it again, room temperature, and temper it again. Then it's finished up. Now right, here's the first knife. Um, you know, I don't know if I had the video camera running or not. I might quench this one. Did the same thing, did an edge quench across here. Doesn't bite at all. Come back here to the handle. And it bites. What I like to do is I, I like to really only temper the blade of my knife. I like leaving the handles um, a little bit softer. That way you guarantee it's never going to break. You don't need a lot of uh, hardness in the handle. You only really need the hardness at the blade edge. So that's how I do it. Let me get these right into the tempering. I'll all right, guys. So this is my tempering. This is just a little toast oven. What we're shooting for is about 425 degrees, we're about 400 now, so I'm going to go ahead and get these in here. Oh, it's hot in there. I like to stand my knives up when I temper them. Oh. I'll watch this for a little bit, make sure the temperature doesn't get too high. Go from there. Alright, so the other thing I like to do is I like to monitor the temperature with my infrared uh, heat gun. That way I know, I can find the balance between the thermometer the thermometer here and the actual temperature of my infrared gun, I can find the balance. Four twenty six, just about where I want it. I'll watch it for another couple of minutes. Um, I kind of let it come up to temperature and it'll kind of balance itself out after a while. What's up guys? Now I got the knives out of the toast oven for the first temper. Let's see if I can show you this. You see that orange kind of color on the steel? It's the oxidation, it tells you what temperature it reached. So I just start and turn a little bit of blues here on the edge. Um, I'm really happy with that. Hey guys. I finished up one of the two knives I was working on, uh, the heat treat on. Real happy how the heat treat turned out. Um, got them really, really sharp. It's just absolutely just hair shaving sharp. You see that or not. And I'm literally just taking the hair right off my arm. So, that process worked pretty good. Real happy with it. Um, it's almost easier than, than using my gas force. The gas force seems to take a lot longer um, just getting it going and getting this to steal up the temperature. Where I could actually see where you could heat this up too fast if you weren't careful. I'm real happy how this knife turned out. I'll, I'll show you some uh, a little bit more close up pictures of it. But it's a Coco Bolo wood handle, two brass pins with a, a copper star mosaic pin here in the center. Uh, it's 3 16 1095 high carbon, just a little skinning knife. Uh, it's actually already sold. But pretty cool how it turned out. Uh, I didn't get real carried away on, on getting all the, the lines off of it. I left it kind of more of a, a rough finish um, per customer's request. So there you go.
Got one more to go after this, but I'm gonna go ahead and make this video about the heat treating. Uh, and I'll make that other knife into its own video, because this can be pretty cool. Pretty cool knife when it's done. Thanks for watching, guys. He never called me by my name, just he'll kill him. My grandpa taught me how to live off the land, and his taught him to be a businessman.